is low dose TRT cream enough to make you hold water and put on weight? Uh, it's a it's a good question. It's a good question because frankly, without knowing the dose of the TRT cream and what that translates to in terms of what that amount per per dose, what that takes your total serum levels to, it, it's hard to say. I can tell you that just simply having TRT in place. Whenever, whenever someone says like, is, is using X going to make you hold water to what degree, what degree are we talking about? Are we talking about like in the case of like hormonal birth control, that is one I would say when someone states, does it, does X make you hold water? I'm going to say, yeah, hormonal birth control, synthetic forms of these hormones can drive water retention in terms of just TRT alone. It's not going to make you hold water the way that I believe you're imagining it will. Um, we've used both TRT exclusively and TRT with Anavar. Starting TRT, sure, there was an increase in, in a lot of um, a lot of qualities uh, in, in terms of like quality of life. There were a lot of improvements that I saw. I did not see a negative compositional change. I think this is like the most, I don't know, um, correct way to say this. I did not see a negative compositional change that I would delineate due to an increase in water. Um, did I see that with Anavar? I mean, like, yeah, I looked fuller. I looked more muscly, but to the extent in which most people are asking like, oh, is it going to make you bloated? No, no. Um, it's hard to say though, because you could take a low dose of TRT cream and you could, you could use a lot of it. You could use so much that now you are in a supra physiological, uh, threshold of, of testosterone for a female. And if that's the case, yes, you very well could hold water. I've had women come to me who are on TRT, who were at doses that were inappropriate, that were super physiological when their intention with using TRT was just to uh, establish normal to normal high levels. And yes, they did report they were holding water. Now the bioavailability of TRT in a cream form is, uh, it, it's poor, poor to simply put that. But what I can also say is like, I've been impressed with people's ability to administer more than what they intended to. Um, if there's a will, there's a way. So I would first establish what is the dose that you're taking in milligrams. Then I would look at what that takes you to in terms of serum levels. And if that threshold the which or sorry, if that value is under a hundred nanograms per deciliter, I can say generally it shouldn't make you hold water. Asterisk. Okay. Unless you are someone who maybe already has a high level of free test. So, um, of the total circulating test, maybe you are under a hundred nanograms per deciliter, but you find that your free test is elevated as we see in women with PCOS. And if that's the case, potentially, potentially there could be some water retention